There you are. Welcome back to Rayman Redemption. Stream four. Maybe maybe we're, maybe we're up to five. Uh, I would like to finish this today, or at least maybe we'll get to we'll get to miss the evil Mr. Dark. That would be nice. Fifty-five percent. I assume that's accounting for all of the, uh... Oh, we're doing this again. That's accounting for all of the unlockables in the game. Are we gonna work? Okay, I think we're good. Always a little bit rough for the start of Rain Man. Uh, so last time... No? Okay. Maybe I opened two instances. Maybe that's what happened. I, tr I tried to launch it and then start the stream so I didn't have to... Didn't have to show the desktop. This game can be finicky. Joy to Key can be finicky. So, we haven't streamed in two weeks. We didn't stream at all last weekend. And I had been talking about doing some demos. Uh, Monster Hunter... It's still okay. So what's happening is my right, uh, my right D-pad button isn't consistently working, which will be a problem if it persists. It seems to be okay now. Last time we got to this new area, Playtopia, which was not in the original Rayman. It is unique to Rayman Redemption, this fan game, and it had some questionable uh, level mechanics. I wasn't a fan of Playtopia, and I stopped halfway. I think we've only got... Uh, if, it's, if it's four levels per world, we should only have one Playtopia left. Actually, you know what? Before I start in here... I should check out the shop. I have 998 things. Sorry, tings. Maybe we can get a new skin or something. Uh, tings move towards you. Extra HP. I thought I already bought that. Maybe that's what I was saving up for. stream in the lockjaw suit. Why not? Uh, I was talking about demos that were happening. Monster Hunter Rise had its demo that ran until January 31st, I believe. It might still be available offline, but that was the online period? I'm not sure. I was intending to stream it, which I've never played a Monster Hunter game before. But I just I just didn't have the time. I never got around to it. I did play it on my own off stream. And I didn't get very far. So in retrospect, it might be better that I did not stream it. No, it's just it's just cyan. Green and blue Rayman. Alright. Uh, it had probably the worst tutorial I've seen in a video game. I barely understood what I was doing. Oh, I got a key, I guess. Uh, 
Uh, the tutorial gave me incorrect instructions multiple times, telling me to press the wrong buttons in order to uh, do things. Which I've heard the stories of Monster Hunter being a, a series that's hard for newcomers to get into. I don't know if the other games had similar problems with uh, tutorials just kind of being an afterthought. Or if that was unique to, uh, unique to Rise. Two plus, okay. I'm smart, I know this. It, it, this is our level gimmick, is math problems? I was confused because previously there were numbers in the sky that did not equate to a path. To a path. also a similar kind of thing to Wakfu I've talked about, where uh, the Monster Hunter series and lore uses all of these specific terms for things that are, you know, they're, they're things in the Monster Hunter universe, but it was just, it was just too much too quickly. I, I couldn't absorb it all. I've, I've never felt a game needed more tutorials until now. But it just had two. It just kind of dumped everything all at once. Again, with some incorrect instructions. And I just, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what I was doing at all. So I, I don't think I'm going to revisit it. Oh boy, here we go. 85 minus 63 is 22, plus 75 is 97. Oh, well, did, maybe, well there, maybe there was stuff down there. <gasps> Uh-oh, I'm good. What's that question for? Nothing? It's just a decorative question? Alright. The other game that has a uh, demo out now is uh, Balan Wonderland, which is a new game by the, uh, I don't remember their names, the two, basically the, the two creators of Sonic. I don't like this. This is this is like the Bowser's castle. I get, it keeps track of which ones I go down. And I don't actually know what days Jack has off this week. I thought that he was off today, but I haven't heard from him, so he must be working. working tomorrow and I do a solo stream. Maybe I'll do Ball in Wonderland then. I don't know. It could happen. Uh, I know it's a platformer. And I know it has a, it has a big, like, uh, power-ups focus. Which has always historically kind of been Mario's thing. Like, there were platformers before Mario, but Mario was the one to introduce the extra states. Between the, the Super Shroom and the Fire Flower, things like that. I mean, I'm 
I'm sure there were others that did that as well, but it's something Mario kind of became known for because it was so central to the gameplay. This is a terrible level to try to ha have a uh, conversation with. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I'm good. Uh... Yeah, I'm not crazy about- I'm not crazy about Toyland. I still wonder if this is completely unique, or if it is coming from, like, that- There was a Rayman Education game that I think was also on the PlayStation. And now we're doing speed math. Okay. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun for lots of people. Uh, 26. Plus 7, 33. I can't pause. Uh, I mean I could, but I don't have the pause button bound. This is how to make players feel stupid. Is it different every time? It's a hundred... Hello, Kudere Trap. I don't know what happens if I go up the wrong one. Oh, I just take damage? That's fine, I can take a little damage. Plus 33 is 77. That was easier than the previous one. Everyone's brain works a little bit differently, though. Something that becomes very apparent if you're ever a teacher or if you're trying to uh, tutor someone. Is this this should have the this should have the the equation that uh, Twitter was all arguing about in it because people didn't understand the order of operations. All right, three plus seven is ten. Minus one is nine. Plus five is fourteen. Minus two is twelve. Plus four is eighteen. I'm sorry, sixteen. I'm smart. What's I, I feel I'm taking the right routes, but then I feel like I'm missing stuff. Ow. I just I just got a fist. That's all I was missing. Music go. I don't get any music for this level. Also, why is Oh, it's because of the skin. The the lockjaw ray uh, Raven. Rayman. Gets uh he gets a he gets a claw.
really? Almost through all of that questionable holiday coffee that I got. I've nearly finished the eggnog grog and rum cake. After which I can move on to a collection of other cake cups that I've gotten, which are also holiday flavored, but much better holiday flavors. Like peppermint mocha. And caramel. I don't know if caramel's a holiday flavor necessarily, but it's in the pack, and I enjoy caramel. Come on. Come down. A little more. Uh-oh. Well, uh, it's okay. A, funny platform interactions. B, I don't think that's the way to reach that magician's token. Oh, I just had to jump for it. No, despawn. I had to go, I had to go real far to get rid of that. No, wait, I need you! It's okay, it'll go off screen, and then it'll come back. Uh. It's gotta be ice, too. This is a really awkward spot for this ball to be. Get out of here. Rum cake. Yes, I got, uh... I got rum cake flavored coffee. If you're asking what rum cake is, I actually don't know. I assume it's cake made of rum. It made for a questionable coffee flavor, though. Alright, what are you? You're new. It's like a little, it's like a little gremlin Mega Man, uh, Mega Man, Rayman. With Crash Bandicoot boss music. Well, this is demanding. certain spots to prevent him from blowing up the good parts. That seems to be the case. Uh-oh. I don't like this boss at all. I'm gonna need a double jump or something for this.
There we go. Oh, that was the boss of the area? Okay, that was the king of Playtopia, is those two gremlin dudes. And finally, we're at Candy Chateau, which was in the original game, but it was only a single level. I'm wondering if it is a full world in this version. I thought that was water. But I wasn't positive. What are you? Are you a cloud? Yes, the, the, the clouds are now little cakes that go poof. Ah, uh, that's also water. It just, it just looks like green frosting. I can't stand on the hammer? It's a hammer! Again, we have no music. It's just weird, creepy party sound effects. It's like go hanging out outside a birthday you weren't invited to. Am I going down here yet? I don't think so. Oh, hello. I want the I want the candy. It's all slippery, by the way. All of the frosted area is ice. This is a game that is much more enthusiastic about putting ice everywhere than most platformers. <gasps> I'm good. We're fine. I don't have an evil uh, Mega Man. I keep saying that. Rayman chasing me throughout the level. Something appeared. What appeared? Nothing? Or was this here before? There's more- now there's yellow water. I don't know if I can walk on the backs of those blades or not. I cannot. The important thing is we learned. Hopefully I keep the present after that. I think I do. What was that? Uh, hmm. Well, I assume that I can't touch the spinny, spiky things. I cannot. What do they want me to do? what I needed to do for something to appear. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Ah! Ah! I, I thought it was going to have me go over the, the these, which I thought I could grab onto like every other pole in the game. Nope, they're just decorative. They're just walls. I guess the creator figured it would be uh, creepier and more villainous with no music. He's right, I suppose. He's, you know, play, play Gray Man for the nice music. It'd be nice to have music. I guess the music I got on the previous level wasn't that amazing either, though. I miss Art World. I want more nice Art World music. Is there a sound test? Can I just play the art world music throughout the entire game? Ah, yes. Yellow water. Please don't be slippery. It's slippery! Why is it slippery? Why would you take a platform that small and make it out of ice? I don't think I like this game anymore. I'm gonna have to take back the nice things I said about Rain Man Redemption. It was nice at first. They just saved all the all the crap for the last two levels, the last two worlds. All the mean spiritedness, all the frustration that built up over the course of designing an entire game for the least appreciated entry in the Rayman series. Sadly. Okay, what's the, oh, I can, wait, I, I can do it from this side? Why would I go on the tiny ice platform? What's the point of all that stuff on the right? Oh, he shakes the ground. He's like the uh, he's like the Hammer Brothers or the, the 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 Sledge Brothers in Mario. There we go, we got some music. I believe it's the original Candy Chateau music. Oh, I can walk on the head parts, that's good. Which is itself not indicative of like a threatening final world. You know, this music. It's funny, because Mr. Dark doesn't have any kind of, like, clown motif. Or anything that would suggest that he would be in a place like this. He's just, you know, the evil Mr. Dark. Hello, Sandy. This game got mean. It saved, it saved all the really nasty stuff for the last two worlds. Is that just a mass of death? Like, there's no interacting with that one? I guess they're just sprinkled around to not walk in. Why, why are there... Why are there Swiss Army Knives in Candyland? How, how is that consistent with the theme? Also, I missed a thing. 
Man. Oh, it's reverse psychology. Is that what it is? I was looking up on, like, the Rayman wiki at one point. I haven't played the more recent Rayman games. But I heard that there's, like, uh... There's a character called the Magician that plays a, uh, more villainous role in later games. I don't think he's the same Magician from this game, necessarily. I, I hate these tiny ice platforms. That would be cool, though, if, uh... If it had been the same one, and this guy who was just kind of a neutral NPC throughout the first Rayman. Like, yeah, technically helping you, but... I mean, kind of. Is, is he helping you? He gives you lives, I guess. It'd be a neat kind of lore thing if he was just, like, this chaotic agent who did turn out to be a villain in a later game. Now, that's what I need, is Rayman lore. I look at this, and I think that I need, the, I need a, a deep, story-driven game that makes me very emotionally invested in the characters. You know, what's Rayman's story? What's he doing all this for? This is the point that they save the, uh... The parts where you can't sw swing the full swing. Yeah! On the swing rings. Or you'll take damage. They did that in the caves in the original Rayman. Hello, Dark Tomb. How do you just keep coming back, you limbless loser? Well, you're one to talk. Oh, hello. It's Mr. Dark! And he's got a voice now. It's, it's like, it, it's like, uh... Professor Claw? Dr. Claw? Or the Shockmaster. You are of no use anymore. Okay, you, you want poof. I like Mr. Dark's sprites, though. He always had a really cool-looking sprite in this game. You have defeated all of my strongest minions. You've conquered all my traps. You've even managed to activate all the Toon Totems. You've delayed the inevitable. Okay, it's one of these speeches. Your journey ends here in my domain. Isn't it terrifying? Okay. Well, I expected that to be the point where he, like, zapped me and the evil Rayman came out. I guess we're not quite there yet. I'm gonna get up there. Are those spikes? Those look like spikes. Yep. The important thing is we learned. I should get a checkpoint before I go experimenting. That little bit of water is too conspicuous. It might be a hidden flag. Nope, it's just just a little water death pit. That's all it is. There's obviously something down there. all the way, just in case there's a flag. All this game later, and Rayman still is unable to, uh... Unable to crouch and punch. Or aim down with a punch. He just can't hit things on the ground.
don't think this is one of those pits. Oh. Uh. So obviously I didn't stream them. But, uh. I did a couple runs of Ocarina of Time randomized. Well, I did one run on stream, obviously. And I did another run off stream just because I enjoyed it so much and I wanted to take another crack at it. And I got through it. But I got through it kind of quickly, so uh, I went on to do a Wind Waker randomized run. And Wind Waker is a much bigger game than Ocarina of Time. I, just, I almost went into it. So big, in fact, that the uh, Wind Waker randomizer has more specific settings. It has, like, uh, subcategories for all of the groups of items that you can choose to include or not. Like the Great Fairies, the minigame rewards, just ev every individual kind of type of thing you might have to do. And I, because, well, the, the Ocarina one didn't take long enough. I, I, want, I want something that'll keep me busy for a while. I selected everything. And I haven't been very lucky. It took me a very long time just to get, uh... Just to get any kind of means of, like, damaging things. I got a hook shot, which can, which can damage, like, the, the very weakest enemies, like bats. The first thing I got was a Deku Leaf, and then a hook shot. And then I think bows and a, a hammer, and then bows and arrows. Or bows and hammer. But I very just slowly happened to upgrade to being able to damage more and more things. And I pretty much cleaned out the entire Great Sea and still do not have a sword, or bombs, or many things that I need. I finally got down to the very last item that was available to get, and I got the wallet upgrade, which is finally a progression item. But now the entire Great Sea is empty, and I need to find a thousand rupees with no chests available. It's just it's just been a big headache the entire Wind Waker randomizer run. Maybe I'll do a streamed one one day, but I'm not gonna do uh, I'm not gonna do everything everything like I am offline because all that's really ending up with is just combing the entirety of the Great Sea in a grid over and over and over again. It's really it's not fun to watch. That bounce actually saved me from drowning. Why, why would you do this? Why would you have all these teeny little platforms made of ice and knives? I don't know which is worse, I'm walking on ice or walking on knives. Hello. No, no. No, please. Get out of here. Ah, here, there's more of you. Okay, we're good. We made it. reception. Choco Chambers. We got caves? No? Clown Chef. One of those nasty big clowns offered to trade my sausage truck for this ice cream machine. But this thing is busted. I can't believe I got scammed like that. And I used to be such a good hot dog vendor too. You actually got it working. It's like the Fonzie, you just gotta hit it. You can take my old sausage pan. I remember, they, they, there was a there was a sledding part of this level in the original game, wasn't there? I forgot this was a thing. There was a, there was the sledding part and there was the dark Rayman part. It was it was a very very busy final level. Hopefully it's a little more fair than the original frying pan level. 
Okay, that was that was much shorter. That was way shorter than the frying pan section in the original game. Have you played uh have you played Rayman 1, Sandy? I'm still trying to get people together for Splunky 2. It's just trying to match everyone's schedules. Which now Jack is, uh... Jack got a new job, and he's at one that changes schedules every week. And I'm driving bus again, so I'm, I'm only off on weekends. Which you're only off on weekdays. So it's, it's just, it's, it's a headache to try to get people together. Oh, I got the I got the token. That's nice. Ooh, oh, oh, okay. That's fine. I don't need lives. I got lots of lives. Yeah! Oh, you're in between in between jobs. I'm sorry to hear that. I I think I, that's bad, right? I hate these guys and their globs of goo. holiday that's coming up, Martin Luther King Day. Maybe I'll see if Jack can get that day off. Oh, is it President's Day? I, I, don't, I don't know my holidays. I, I, you know why? It's because Black History Month. That's why I always think MLK is in February. Anyway, maybe I can get Jack to get that day off, and then we'll have you and me and Jack and uh, Wickersham. Because I think he's been interested in getting Splunky too. And I did Splunky 1 with him. I got highlight videos up of that. stream a Splunky one with Sandy. That was a long time ago, though. I don't... I don't like that you're here. Can I damage you? I cannot. My birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, me. I get suffering in a giant Rayman cake world. Is it, is it, like, evil chocolate bars? Is that what the terrain is? There's, like, little spikes in the ground. It's crunch bars. It's little, it's little Rice Krispies. I never thought I could be threatened by, uh, by Crackle. I don't like this. Oh, this is tight. Is this the way to go? This looks like the way to go. I need a checkpoint, because I might as well. Let's check out what's down here. <gasps> Spikes! Nope, get out of here, please. I can fly too, you bitch! It's nice, peaceful... Happy birthday zone. With cake and fun.
I just noticed the background. It's a non-copyright infringing uh, Beauty and the Beast tea set. What is it? What is it? What are their names? Chip and Mrs. Pot or something? They didn't. They didn't name it a Disney character, Mrs. Pot, did they? I have to be misremembering that. Where's the red? Did I go up here already? <gasps> I did not go up here already. I hate these guys! Ah! Red door? Where's the red door? There's a yellow key. I just don't want to die and lose my keys. Also, I, I keep pressing the, the, the stick, which I, I don't want to do, because that messes with things. At least they only take one hit, the flying guys. Okay, now, will this save me having the yellow key? And if I get the red key, will the checkpoint save that I have it? I kind of miss worms. I I would like to play it again, but at the same time, it's a, it's a lot of setup, it's a lot of downloading and fi finding and downloading maps, port forwarding, things like that. It's kind of a headache. I was considering, uh, I was considering starting a new Tomodachi Life thing. Where the tenants were all the uh, all the characters from Smash. I thought that could be a th uh, funny thing that people might like to watch. I'd also like to stream just Smash itself more. It's just it's just time. It's it's trying to find time to stream while you know working full time. It's the eternal struggle. Why why though why do you do this? Rayman Redemption Creator. I should really learn the guy's name. Oh, thank God. I have a checkpoint. Where, where do I use these keys at? Does it really want me to carry them all this way? That fist is tempting, but it's not worth my life. Which I will lose if I go down there. What are you gonna do? Okay, you're one of these guys. <gasps> there I go. He, he nibbled my feet. Man, I lost my keys. The checkpoint does not save keys. This is gonna be like Yoshi's Island, where there's like a super secret special thing you get for escorting the keys all the way to the end. What's the point of it even dealing damage? You fall into the water if you get hit. Ah, yes, my favorite. Piss cake. one of those things again. It's the fully loaded Swiss Army knife. And there's another key great, that I will probably die before I get the chance to use. There's gonna be a series of, of, of three doors at the end of the level. The yellow, red, and blue door. And if you get all of them... 
Then you get the super secret ending where Rayman escapes with his girlfriend and he doesn't even have to fight Mr. Dark. Why is he called Rayman? Was he invented, was he created by some guy named Ray? Is it like rays of light? Because he doesn't have any light related powers. It just, the more I think about it, it just sounds like some dude named Ray with man after it. Raymond, I'm sorry, I got his name wrong. I, I hate this section. I already don't really like the flying sections, but put insta-death water under the entire thing? A ray can lift objects? Uh huh? A ray of light? A manta ray? I, I don't think manta rays lift, bro. <laughs> What's his girlfriend's name? Rochelle girl? It's a tractor beam. Yeah, tractor man. Which is still a, a, a stretch. Yep, there's all three keys to the super secret- Rayman's girlfriend, Rochelle Girl, is waiting behind all three of these doors. I guess I'll never see her. Yeah! <laughs> oh, hello. He just- he Mega man in. I just realized that. Interfering with something you cannot comprehend. Oh, he, he's got big plans on Candy Mountain. Let's see how you handle this. Oh, oh, chocolate. Ah! Uh, I am the great mighty poo. Oh no, I gotta crawl. Crawl through the poop. Ah! 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 No, don't touch it, Rayman. Ah! I gotta watch this every time so he can activate the poop. I know obviously it's, it's like chocolate or soda or something, but come on. It, 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 it's impossible not to compare it to the Great Mighty Poop. What an impressive singer that guy was. Considering that the game was made by people mumbling into an office microphone with no trained voice acting. Like, the voice acting in Conquer was questionable, to put it nicely. And yet they got a dude who could sing opera pretty well. Better than the Rabbit's Boss, in my opinion. Hey, Rabbit's Boss was, was cool, I guess. He was, he was infamous for a time after that game came out. Because people just like bosses that sing opera. But he was more, uh, he was more like a... It, it's weird to say... Oh, I have to fight the poop. The Rabbit was more a parody... ...of opera than the, than the poop monster. Because he was kind of based off of, uh, he was more based on, on, uh, comedy operas. Which, there's a difference. That's more along the lines of what, like, uh, Mozart did. It, it makes sounds. Uh, comedy operas had more of the more of the very silly singing 
that people now have come to stereotypically associate opera with. It was, it was meant to be comical. You were supposed to laugh at, like, how silly the, like, the women character sounded, for example. Whereas in more, in more serious opera, they did, they did tend to value more traditionally nice-sounding, smooth vocals. Imagine a hundred years from now, people are going to think back, and all entertainment is going to be compared to, like, it's going to be reduced to, like, stereotypes of YouTube Let's Players. Like, House, Breaking Bad, Anime, Death Note, it's, it's, none of that is going to be remembered. People are just going to think entertainment at that time was all YouTube YouTube Let's Players. And that's what all the stereotypes are gonna be. Okay, maybe it's not a very good comparison. The sweet spot. I think this game auto-saves, but I should probably be saving more anyway. Well, what's... Oh, I can jump from... I can jump through it. Is there anything down there? There is. Take some extra health. Music a little more, uh, this is a salsa. Speaking of salsa, I just finished watching a playthrough of uh, Mother 3. So let me just go ahead and list all of the spoilers for people who haven't seen it yet. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm not going to do that. I liked it though. I liked watching it. Again, the Earthbound Mother series isn't a series that I would enjoy playing. But it's nice to see the story and, like, the, uh, you know, the emotional aspects of it. Uh-oh. Is that life back again? It is. Lucas is a good boy. Also on the topic of, uh, I mentioned doing the Wind Waker randomizer. I, uh, I think I solved the dolphin crashing issues. Because I, uh, so I downgraded back to the latest stable build of dolphin, not the dev build. And it has not crashed once since. Which I previously used the stable builds of dolphin. But I went to the dev build because the, uh, one of the things we did, I think it was the Paper Mario, the Book of Mario, told me to use the dev build. So I thought, oh, well, I guess it's only going to work on the dev build. Nope, it's, uh, it's worked fine, as far as I can tell, on the stable build. And also doesn't crash every ten seconds. So, uh, that's a problem that we could have had solved many streams ago. Doing this on ice. Why would you do this? I, 
didn't pay attention to which level this was. I think this is three of four. I'm assuming there's four, like every other world. Although I believe in the original game, there was the one Candy Chateau level, and then the Mr. Dark boss gauntlet. It's been a while. This is the part of the game that of the original game that I least remember. Just because it was the tail end, and I got to it the fewest amount of times. I do think there is something to the the design of these kinds of Rayman games. Like, the way the you're hunting for invisible flags encourages exploration, and more so the fact that they use the tings to uh, guide the player after a new route has been opened. That's nice. I like that. that it it kind of it gives you an idea of where to go. Otherwise, this would get very old very fast, having to retread the same ground and remember what paths you have and haven't taken. That would get annoying. What is that? Is it like jawbreakers? Is it like licorice nubs? Oh, they're apples. I, I think... I think they're... No, they're cherries. Okay. What? Who stacks cherries? The fuck? It's a rope made of maraschino cherries. I think licorice would have made more sense. Oh, that's a guy. I, I was looking up at the clowns. The clowns distracted me. Their plan worked. Annoying, flying clowns. As if normal clowns aren't bad enough. Can I get you? No, I can't. He's through a wall. I wish Rayman's Punch had a little bit of splash damage. So that I could get things through walls. But it doesn't, and I can't. I'm good. I'm fine. Oh, I should have... Oh, how do I get to that? I want that. Come on, get up there, pretty please. Uh, I should have, uh, I, sh I should have saved the pictures to this computer. I have, over the course of the past, you know, few months, been occasionally finding cursed ice cream flavors to share with various unfortunate vis victims around Discord. I think the most heinous of which was fish ice cream. Which, I, it, it can't be real. It was an image of a tub of ice cream, like you would see at Baskin Robbins, but with a, like a, a, just a fish, an actual fish, at the end of the tub to indicate the flavor. And it was gray and gross looking. There's a charcoal ice cream. Is apparently some kind of a health fad. It, it gets the ice cream through your system faster, boosts metabolism. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not an expert on charcoal ice cream. There was uh, a wasabi ice cream. Again, don't know why. 
Don't know who thought that was a good idea. There was not a horseradish ice cream, thankfully. Although wasabi is a type of horseradish. I believe the two plants are related. <laughs> and most recently, I found at the local grocery store a uh, mango habanero coconut. Which I'm told is like a popular Mexican ice cream flavor. I didn't know this. But habanero ice cream sounds very, very questionable in any case. That is a thing, though. There's been that a trend recently of spicy and sour. Which is a very bizarre mix to me. Like, I, I see spicy Sour Patch Kids and spicy Sour Gummy Worms. And they're awful. I've tried those. And uh, Tamarind Candy is, I know, a, uh, a popular, like, traditional kind of candy in Central America. And that's also something that I just couldn't get into. I, I did try it. I tried authentic Mexican tamarind candy. And it's a, it's a mix of, of just spicy and sour and sweet. It's just very off-putting off to me personally. I like other Mexican can candies. I like the, the, the marzipan in the Mexican candy section. Not, not the tamarind candy. I can go without that. I, sh I should have been punching those things. I it occurs to me way too late. There's a whole, like, set of rings over there I completely missed. I need to... I need, I need to, like, swing up. I need to... I need to momentum up to the level exit! Or just drown. Or just drown. Oh, that's how I do it. Alright. <gasps> nope! That was the wrong thing to do. There was like a, a, a male teenager laughing. Oh, this is tricky. I don't think I like this section. This could take a while. Yeah, no. I'm good. No thanks. I guess I could punch them, but it kind of doesn't serve a lot of purpose, because I'm already past them by the time I can punch them. At least I'm not sliding back down the ropes, like in Donkey Kong Country. Eh, you can't get me, but I can get you. Stupid clown. chocolate bar paths. I get that the other music could get annoying. Can I touch you? I can. It's just a, a, a candy wall. Still, I, I would take previous music over just nothing. Just weird carnival ambience. Uh-oh. Okay, good. I, th I thought this happy little candy wall was gonna crush me.
That's a little tight. Don't. Oh, 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 I can jump. I can jump through the bottom. Keep forgetting that. I think. Oh, that's a solid object. I'll just bonk my head like Mario. Damn you, crunchy nougat spikes. Which I'm surprisingly high for a little guy. What was the point of me coming down here? Oh. Yeah, get out of here. There had to be something. Ah, it's one of those things again. I don't know what I was supposed to do to not take damage there, but I didn't do it. cages on this level anyway. I would have to do the, 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 the ring thing-a-ding to get all those. Yeah, I would say this game, it scales better than the original Rayman did, because the Rayman, Rayman 1 went from uh, mildly challenging to balls to the wall impossible between World 1 and World 2. And it remained pretty, very difficult for the remainder of the game. This game ramped up a little slowly, but I have felt like there's there's just more general bullshit. General, unlikable, unfun game mechanics at the very tail end of this game. As opposed to the end of Rayman 1. I feel like the most annoying Rayman 1 got, in terms of mechanics, was the frying pan slide. Because that, I remember going so fast, I it just, and ultimately I had to memorize the entire level. Otherwise, if you just took Rayman 1 and gave it the uh, quality of life improvements of this game. I think that'd be great. I'd, I'd have loved that. This is cool, too. Yeah, the whole new game, new world, original levels. Probably, I'm going to talk about this again. Anyway. Once uh, Jack is here to stream with me again. I don't remember this candy place being in the Saturn version. Uh, it was in the PlayStation version. This was the... There was... On, unlike all the other, other worlds, which had four levels per world, this was just one big level, and it was just before Mr. Dark. It was just before the end of the game. Granted, I haven't played the Saturn version, so I don't know for sure what the differences are. But I don't think it's that different from the PlayStation 1. I think the big differences between versions are some sound effects, and uh, 
Like, they changed cage placements. In fact... Uh, no, stop that. Cut it out. Stop. Stop. Stop! Stop moving! Yeah! <laughs> I, I wanted to navigate the menu, but it's not going to let me. Why is it doing that? Okay, we're good. Whoa! Just cut it out! I, I, I don't like... This joy to key has been problems. And this game is supposed to have controller support, but it has not worked with my Xbox One controller, so I'm having to use Joy to Key with it. And it's imperfect, as you can see. Oh man, is it acting up. I might have to close and reopen again. save game and I will close and reopen. Uh, Jack does not have plans to move back here as far as I'm aware. It's kind of, it's, 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 it's in the air. I've considered moving myself, though not necessarily to, I, I, I don't like cities, so I'm not definitely not moving to Seattle. My brother is apparently talking about moving to uh, Arizona. But he goes all over the place. He just he moved to Seattle like less than a year ago and shortly after moved back. So I don't think he knows what he's doing yet. Mr. Dark's Dare. Okay. And now the right D-pad button is not working once again. And now it's forcing me right because I used the stick to go right. Man, joy to key. There we go. Jack swears by it. No, it's perfect. I don't know why you'd ever have a problem with it. Download it now. I wanted that. You know those games where the optimal way to play is the most annoying way to play? There's no reason I'm bringing that up now. This is not relevant to anything that's happening. Oh no, he just took damage. That's forgiving. That's nice. Do I keep it? Did I get it? This is an odd thing to suddenly remember, but I had the movie on VHS as a kid, Elmo in Grouchland. And if I remember correctly, there was a plot point in the movie where there was like, uh, there was like a queen of garbage or something. And I don't remember the actress who played her. It, it was a... It was like a, a black diva actress. Or a singer. 
And as a plot point, Elmo had to give a raspberry in order to proceed in his adventure. He had to go... And that's, that's how the actress lady did it. She did a big, long one. But yes, Elmo and Grouchland, the best isekai. My favorite. What a dumb name for a genre. Everything's a fucking isekai. It's so broad. I think I went on that rant last stream. It's actually kind of nice and peaceful without all the constant flatulence. Yeah! I think I got a new mosquito, a um, new mosquito skin, just in time to never play another mosquito level. All right, well, let's do it. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna 100% this game. I don't really want to. Which is sad, because, you know, I love Rayman 1. This is just too much. And there's too much really annoying parts for me to want to do it on stream, at least. Maybe if I get bored, I'll, I'll keep playing it off, off stream and get there. Really, it'll, I think it'll depend on what the ending is like. I hope there's a not 100% ending, unlike the original Rayman. <laughs> yes, let me fight you without collecting all the cages, please. Please, Mr. Dark. Here we go. Allow me to introduce you to my latest creation. There he is. There's evil black Rayman. With just the weird laughing and no proper music. I wonder if his punches can hurt me. That seems like a weird thing to ask. But normally you don't have any reason to punch in this level. Let's find out. They cannot. What am I doing? Oh. I, just, I don't think I'd ever seen Dark Rayman Punch before. I think that's his name. He has like a proper name on the Rayman wiki. Not to be confused with another variation of a Dark Rayman that I think appears in a later Rayman game. It's really not a difficult section. You just kind of have to pay a little closer attention is all. Oh, great, more keys. Lovely. Oh, what's this? Oh, I, I just... It, it was... Fool! Uh-oh! He looks so mad to be falling, slowly. The dark version. He looked like he'd been defeated. <laughs> Defeated. Because Rayman's feet aren't attached. Get it? Oh, it's not... Not only is it a weird track with, no, with almost no music... 
it doesn't even loop well. Or did, did they just, uh, I think they just added a drum track for Dark Mega Man. Over the, uh, the standard laughing ambience. Also, apparently touching him is instant death. There are no hit points involved. So that's good to know. The biggest thing that this game has over the original Rayman is uh, infinite lives. As an option. I have it set on the... Th this is the easiest, easiest difficulty, if you can believe it. Which only affects the lives. I have infinite lives on the, on the casual difficulty. I don't know why I'd go out of my way for a fist. It's not like I can punch the guy. I wonder how far exactly behind you he is. Like, there's gotta be a frame count. Ah! Oh, well, how come I can jump through all the other chocolate, but not that chocolate? You, you see what I mean about assuming that you can or can't jump through something? If that's just like the devs laughing. Or I guess more logically it'd be the uh, the, com the composers and or their families. got the bells on his hat for? Just a fashion statement? Mr. Dark was never seen again after this game. Not in the flesh. From what I read on the wiki of the, the deep, very involved Rayman lore, I think the magician in, like, a later game, like Origins or something, had a portrait of Mr. Dark on, like, his wall or something. Like, you meet, you meet someone who idolizes Mr. Dark in a future game. But he himself never comes back. Which is especially disappointing because you really don't get a, a good, conclusive end to him in Rayman 1. You don't even get a boss fight with him. You just get a gauntlet of a bunch of other bosses. And then he fucks off, never to be seen again. And that's it, that's the last of Mr. Dark. He just became a real estate agent. He got a day job, and he never made trouble for anyone ever again. Oh, this is the end of the level. I shouldn't be here yet. Ah, whatever. Again, I'm not 100%ing it, so who cares? A 
pretty sure there was still something down there that I hadn't gotten. Oh, this is a reverse control section. Also, Rayman is mad. He is pissed that his, his controls were reversed. Look at that! He's just going on an angry walk. But he's happy when he's in the air. Woohee! I guess I'd be pissed if someone, like, swapped my feet onto the opposite legs or something. If I really wanted to cheese this, I could just rebind my controls to the opposite keys. I won't, because it's really not that... It's not that bad. It's pretty... It's very easy to adapt to. Because it's just, it's just left and right. Like, jump, everything else has not changed. You get used to it very quickly. You ever just, you ever go on an angry walk? Smack him in his big stupid nose over and over again. You know who's got a big stupid nose? Porky. Fuck that guy. How is it that Nintendo's most detestable villain is just some like some snot nosed kid? It's not it's not the evil demon lord Ganon, ultimate destroy everyone, enslave humanity. It's just a little shitty man child. He's so much more punchable than any of the other Nintendo villains. Okay, now I gotta do precision platforming. Now the reverse controls are a little more annoying. Still doable. I want to get to Mr. Gun Guy. You know, Gongaga. Gungaga. <gasps> oh. I caught it. It's They suddenly turned back. Oh, I want to punch you. No, I'm... Okay. We're in a mobile runner now. Rayman cannot stop running. He's in an angry run. Ah! I hate everything! I'm gonna have me an angry hang. These sections were also in the original game. That, that was a big level, the original Candy Chateau. There was the frying pan section, there was the dark Rayman section, the reverse controls, and the running section. They really did have enough to, like, make four levels on off of, just by expanding it a little bit. Oh, hello, this is new. Oh, Dark Rayman is back. I can't jump that high? Don't forget the, the poop. Yes, the poop is new. The poop was not in the original game. I'm going to throw my shit at you. Deep Russian Opera is such a fun voice to do. It's the, uh, the Diablo Swing Orchestra singer, or one of their singers, has that shtick.
I don't know if it's quite a shtick. Maybe that's his actual speaking voice. Maybe he actually is just a really deep-voiced Russian dude. I don't actually know the guy's name. This is a nice-looking area. Very, very menacing. See, this is what I expect Mr. Dark's lair to look like. He just, he built a big castle. How, how does it get those pillars to do that? Look at that. Also, that's very... Is, is that a threat? He's got Rayman pillars. Is that like he's saying, this is what you're going to be, Rayman. You're going to be my slave and you're going to hold up my architecture. Uh, hmm. I think I cornered myself there. Power move, if so. That, or he's just, he just really respects Regam, Me, Regaman. Yeah, Regaman. We don't know where they came from. Can we hire all of the, uh, the Mega Man 8 voice actors to work in the Rayman series? I feel like they would fit there better. In this weird, cartoony wonderland. The Electoons are uh, energy resources. get the, uh, the Mega Man X4 cast in. Have that, uh, have that Zero guy. You can voice, like, uh, Globe Box, or whatever the hell his name is. I, I don't know what I thought was going to happen there. I think, I think Yuri Lowenthal, the current, or at least the Marvel vs. Capcom voice of Zero, actually recorded the infamous line. You know, that what, what am I fighting for? That one. Voice actors do cool stuff on Twitter. I like how the Goombas, the Goomba equivalents of Rayman, these little bug dudes, are consistently threats all the way to this point in the game. Like, we're in the final level. We're about to confront Bowser. And some of his most dangerous dudes are still these little bug Goombas. Mostly because they're short. That's their power. They are too short for Rayman to easily punch. And it's very effective. Oh man, are they annoying. Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, fly over me. I'm just going in a big circle over and over again. Oh. more life. Doesn't matter. At all. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Why would I even ride those? This is a little tricky. I don't... I, I, I could deal with the previous Dark Ray, man. That was easy. This is a challenge.
Well, I have no reason to still be getting tings. I've already unlocked everything I'm going to. I could get, like, the uh, attract tings power up if I really wanted to or something, but we're in the last level. Who cares? Nope. No need. <laughs> I think if I time it right, I can get it so that I can just, like, stand above him. And I'm good. I think I can put enough distance between us for me to just ride the platform up. Oh, that wacky dark, dark ray man. This song and dance. There was never a dark Mega Man, was there? I mean, obviously there were like uh, there were there was blues, Proto Man, and there was Bass, who were like uh, the anti-hero versions of Meg of Mega Man, the anti-hero equivalents. But there wasn't literally a, a dark Mega Man. I don't think. And I'm glad for that, because that's a it's, it's a it's a dumb character arch to archetype that is extremely overused. No, if I if I jump to avoid him, he jumps too. Just run. Book it. The obligatory giant staircase that is too big to walk up, and you must jump up the giant stairs. Don't put that. I, I could just walk back. I could jump over him pretty easily. But I'm beyond the point of giving a shit. Here we go. You're too late, Rayman. Unlike you, I've spent this time wisely. What? I, I was running from an evil version of me. Is that unwise? Should I have hugged him? I can create anything I want. Okay. How will you handle all my strongest minions at once? Yeah, we've done this before. That's a big life bar. Go on. Oh, throw your claw. Come on, buddy. Who's a good lobster, man? Do it! The lightning is a nice new touch. Throw your stupid claw! I guess they figured the original incarnation of that boss was too easy. Oh, hello. Oh, the, the new guy is here, too. It's the green and red guys mixed with Space Mama's gun. I don't like this. Okay. I didn't like it because it was new. I had to new learn a new pattern. Oh, there's, there's double Space Mamas now. What's next? Uh, oh. What are you? It's Mosquito... Uh, Mosquito Scops. That's also new! There's a lot of new in this gauntlet.
Oh, they even uh, they even updated the uh, they updated the background. Look, the red and green guys are up, up in the back. It's odd that they do two space mama gun phases in a row. Without my cheese, I don't know how to easily deal with that second, the double space. How is there two of her? Hey, well, he really can make anything. He made a whole second space mama head. We must stop the evil Porky and his abominable uh, chimeras immediately. These are sins against nature. Alright, double space, mama. Oh no, they're desynced like the ice climbers. That makes them way harder to deal with. Alright, then mosquito scops. Once that way. It's tricky though. There he goes. Alright then, Sax Bug? No, Sax Stone, that's new. He fires rocks. He fires cock rocks. Okay, so that phase is more similar to the original Mr. Sax. Just a whole lot of HP and a whole lot of pattern memorization. It's a Dark Souls boss gauntlet. take damage on the space mama section. Uh, did you ever feel like you're just missing something? the red and green guys are like his favorite they get to be the candy chateau bosses and they also get their own like uh, they get their own special window at the very top of all the others I guess is fitting because Mosquito was the easiest boss. You just gotta charge up a punch and whap it. Alright, Rock Sax Man. Uh, 
Ah, I can't punch the bombs in the air. I can punch the rocks, but do I want to? What? Why'd it go that way? Uh-oh, uh-oh. It, it's a two-hoo. At least I don't have to fight the poop again. Mr. Dark is not such a monster that he would combine the poop monster with someone else. I'm, I'm mad whenever I take a hit from this guy. This guy doesn't deserve to get a hit off me. after Space Mom again. Don't fly. I guess it's not mos- is it Mosquito? I think so. I, th I think the friendly one is bzzzt. Maybe that's not the ideal way to handle that pattern. The double mamas are still giving me the most trouble and not taking damage, though. And this dude has been taking a hit off, off me on recent attempts, but not this time. Stupid gremlin. Oh, I got a hit off. Alright, I guess one's not too bad. Ah! To the mosquito?! He's like, uh... He's like Yan Mega's Mega Evolution. That, that's what this, that's... He's gonna look like this. Again. I trap myself in that pattern. I gotta find a better one. I wonder if the fly sacks was removed from the sequence. Man! We still gotta get the red gremlin guy. So there, there's probably at least one more after stone sacks. Ah! 
can't even if I wanted to, I couldn't save state because this is not a uh, this is not a PlayStation game. This is a standalone executable. Free to download for anyone interested. Go to the Rayman Redemption website. Why did, why did I forget he comes down in the center? I took two hits to this guy! This guy! Starting with more health would also be wonderful, but unfortunately there is no uh, permanent health upgrade. This time for sure. This is this is the run. Oh, there's a specific window flashing for each one. Ah, I didn't even get my hit off. Two health remaining. I'm trying to, like, uh, decipher. I thought maybe it would tell me, like, uh... I thought maybe it was, uh, one window per boss. But no, it's just, it flashes whatever, whichever one has pieces included. So it's not necessarily five bosses. Or sorry, six bosses. I guess I was doing the right thing, and just not well enough. Alright, and then the stone sacks. I got three health. I'm in a good, good spot this time. Also not a great pattern. Maybe I was doing the right thing initially and I just need to do it better. Oh, he's got more? Uh-oh. Oh, I was so close. Still got one, two, three, five hits after that. So there must be at one more stage that we haven't seen yet. I'm gonna guess it is. I, I bet they kept mosquito sacks. If I could not take a hit to this guy, I would be so happy. I can't, I don't even have names to call him anymore. This guy never got a name. Like, we know the others from the Cave of Scops or Space Mama's Crater. Mosquito's Nest. Mr. Sax's Hullabaloo. Not the, not the gremlin guys. There was also that one, uh, the party dude.
who was another boss in the in the party area. For the gambler. I guess he wasn't a uh, a favorite follower of Mr. Dark. Sounds like Marge Simpson. It kind of does. Ow, oh, homie! Not, not done yet? Still. Okay. So he does two of the first style, two of the second style. What's coming next? Oh, yep, it's, uh, Bug Sax Man. Bug Sax Mama. I got stepped on by his big metal opera bug feet. Oh, that was so close. I'm almost there. And then I'm gonna get a fight, Mr. Dark. Right? As I'm gonna get, I get a fist fight where I fight Mr. Dark and not just a boss gauntlet. I avoided it, yes! No hits taken to Gremlin Man. You know he sounds like more than, uh, more than Marge? He sounds like Barney. hit by that I'm just now I'm just flailing god damn it it, it's like dark souls you just got to keep at it you got to keep memorizing patterns Rayman is dark souls confirmed really is way more comparable to Dark Souls than Crash is, though. I mean, first off, look at the size of these guys. Did it. get so good at this that I'm gonna do it with perfectly without losing any health. You just you just watch. You're gonna be super impressed. You're gonna be say, man, I wish I was as cool as Zelrog. Okay, no one's gonna say that. What have you been playing lately, Sandy? Anything? Alright, next. 
next is the stone sacks. Dead by Daylight, I have not played that. Isn't that one of those, uh... Isn't that one of those zombie survival games like Seven Days to Die? In Minecraft. You know, the best zombie survival game. Four v one. Okay. <laughs> Did I do it? Get fucks, Dark Gauntlet. Give me Mr. Dark. I'm gonna punch him in the schnoz. You, you and me, we got business to settle. They say, you want something done right? You have to. Yes, do it yourself, please. Oh, I got. I got to do it with one hit left. I don't get. Can I go back to the map? Oh, good. Oh, thank God, I don't have to do him after the in regular gauntlet. My controls are all fucky again. Okay, we're good. They have reset. Oh, okay. That's, he's, he's pinball. I'm fighting breakout. He's like, uh, he's like a souped up version of the little guy. That's like a Dragon Ball Z attack. That rain of energy blasts. <laughs> Mr. Dark is just Yamcha in a cloak. He wanted to feel powerful, so he went to some happy little cartoon world and started causing trouble. And he just got a little bit carried away. He sounds like he sounds like uh, he sounds like Bagular, the bad guy in uh, Bomberman Hero. Had that kind of weird, deep robotic voice going on. I always forget about the lightning. This, uh, bounce around the room randomly attack is surprisingly effective. <laughs> Snowman from Donkey Kong 3. Was that one of the bosses? I barely remember Donkey Kong Country 3. corner and punch. That's what I'm good at. I punch. Uh, 
had a laughing snowman boss. I remember the barrel. It's uh, a little bit tight. You know, what I, you know what the extent of my memory of Donkey Kong Country 3 is? I remember making a joke about diaper fetishes, and Jack got really, really mad at me. That, that's what I remember from Donkey Kong 3. This is a uh, very challenging final boss, as final bosses should be. Oh, that's the best three stage one. I guess I should hang out at the edge. I don't know what the best place to be there is. Memorization. And staying in the corner in the ball phase. It's the safest place to be. Forgot about the lightning again. I'm so tired of that lightning. Alright, what's next? Four balls? And, oh, he's mad that I've been hiding in the corner. He's not gonna do it anymore. He does the spirit balls. He does his normal ball. And he's gonna make the fire pillars, and then he's gonna do the lightning. And I'm gonna dodge the lightning. And then he's gonna do the fire the brain of the spirit balls. What a potentially useful move that Yamcha had. That just never came up again. Because they, they characters aren't allowed to continue being relevant in Dragon Ball Z. Alright, fire pillars and lightning. And more lightning. I'll get it eventually. And I don't think he can hit the farthest left. Yes, he can. Was facing the left. I wonder how much of this stream is going to end up being bosses. So we started this with what six levels to do. There's a fair number of levels for this, the end of this game. And this, these, bo these boss gauntlets are kicking my ass. 
I got the gauntlet eventually, but this this is this is a challenge. I'm, I'm gonna keep at it. I forgot the lightning again. And he does the lightning twice in this phase too. Okay, now he's gonna do his spirit balls. Give me your balls, Mr. Dark. I can take them. Okay, see you later, Sandy. I forgot he did that again. And now I'm in the center, and what's he gonna do? Oh, now he's gonna do more of those. <laughs> boss is something, man. I have words for what this boss is, but I don't want to get banned on Twitch. I forgot the lightning. You know, I considered myself pretty good at Rayman before this stream. It's quite a feat for your game to be harder than Rayman. And again, it's, it's not the whole thing is. It just, it got harder than the original game by the very tail end. This and the boss gauntlet were harder than the boss gauntlet in Rayman 1, for sure. Phase three. I just remember the lightning in the last second, and then he's gonna do this thing. Then he's gonna do another lightning. And then he's gonna do the rain of fire. Rain of fire. Rain of fire. Dragon Force covered ring of fire. It's a very odd decision for a cover, which I learned about only recently. Okay, and then he, then he does the sides, because he's mad that I'm, I'm hanging out on the sides. And he's gonna do the, 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 the ring things. Those. What? Well, how'd that one hit me? And the lightning. And the rain. While moving between fire. Oh, this is fun. Yes, sir! And he bounced for me immediately. I had very... I had no opportunity to dodge. React, motherfucker! No. Take me. I surrender to your ball. Rayman win by doing absolutely nothing. Oh, he has to punch at least. Got the lightning. This is a, this is a lot to remember. What was the conversation I started earlier? Is that I'm gonna talk about this again when I'm on stream with Jack anyway, but I've been watching uh, Kim Possible lately. This is the latest uh, animated series I've been giving a rewatch. And I already talked about it a little bit. Season 1 has that uh, that made-for-kids stink on it. And it's very fast-paced and tries to use a lot of slang that they don't continue using later on. 
the pace was the most noticeable thing. And then it got better. Season 2. It kind of slowed down a bit. Stopped trying quite as hard. And then it got really bad again. There was an a, a just absurdly ridiculous time travel arc. Which I remembered. I remembered there was a time, tra a time travel arc in the show. But even setting aside, like, my really intense nerd logic for time travel, it doesn't make any amount of sense in the way the, the, the events progress. It is so ill thought out. And they have the nerve to follow it up with a very bad, very pandering Christmas episode. I haven't watched past the Christmas episode. I'm, I'm hoping it gets back to more normal, watchable episodes after that. I didn't remember it being like a, a stellar, super exemplary piece of animation. Just the, it, was, it had it had an arc. It had character progression. It was worth watching. And I guess it's kind of been that. I'll keep at it. I'll see it all the way through. I forgot the lightning again. Rain of fire. And I'm dead. I'm afraid if... This is in the same level as the boss gauntlet, so I'm afraid that if I leave... I'll have to do the boss gauntlet again. So I don't want to go see if I can, like, shop for upgrades or something. That's the one I forget. Can I just... I can, I can. I can stand there and survive. Okay, that's good. That's good to remember. I wonder how many tries it took the dev to beat his own boss. I'm remembering the lightning now. Usually. Alright, then the rain of fire. I like how they sound like just balloons popping. It's very non threatening, to be honest. Full health. Dodge the lightning. I'm gonna stand right here. He's gonna do another lightning. Then he's gonna spirit balls. And I'm gonna take one, just for the hell of it. Who wants to have full health? Full health is for pussies. Yeah. 
this this ball phase is getting me more and more now. I don't like that. Fire and the lightning. <laughs> oh, hello, Thexterra. Thank you for the raid. This is the second time I've gotten raided playing this game. I'm just go ahead, take me. Come on, right, let's try this from the top. I'm so glad there's finally a Mr. Dark fight in this game. It was such a cop-out in the original Rayman that you never got to fight Mr. Dark. I don't know how happy I am about it now, because he's kind of kicking my ass, but... And I keep forgetting about the lightning. See, now I'm, now I'm distracted by the raid. That's okay, I'm gonna do it. I've gotten down- I've gotten him down to the last one or two hits thus far. That's the best I've done. It's a funny comparison how this game managed to end up being harder than the original Rayman, which is already an infamously hard game. Not overall, this one scales better. For most of the game, it's easier than the original Rayman. But boy, is this a lot harder than the final gauntlet in Rayman 1. Find the perfect spot. Everywhere. Ricochet, too. Alright, then he does the outsides, yeah. I think Scops was hard in Redemption. Oh, yeah, he was made, uh... He was made harder. I always forget the lightning. Every time, every time it's the lightning. Okay, that's that's as far as I've gotten. I get to the end of the double fire, and then I'm stuck, and he does the balls on me. Rayman wins by doing absolutely nothing. This is the time. This is the one. guys had to come when I was on the final boss, and I have no focus to expend on having a conversation. <laughs> Imagine 
imagine if a Mario game had a final boss this difficult. How many kids would never finish it? How many kids would be mad at the Mario game for having a final boss like this? That was kind of Sonic. Sonic had some final bosses that got to be pretty difficult. I don't think I ever beat Sonic 1 as a child. Maybe, no, I'm thinking of Sonic 2. Sonic 2 had the, like, big stomping spike egg robot. I think I did beat Sonic 1 because it was short. And the final boss was just like an Eggman room. And that was pretty manageable. Then he does the outsides. I, I punched him. I did not get immediately hit by the ball. Oh, happy day. I get to live to see phase, these final two phases. What does he got? He's got a ball. It's a magic ball. The great protoon. Okay, so new, new attack. What are you guys' opinions on the later Rayman games? Be they the 3D ones, Rayman Origins and Legends. Rayman 1. Yeah, that's my standing. Although I haven't played Origins and Legends. I'm not crazy about how the world building went in games after Rayman 1. But I'm willing to give Legends and Origins a shot someday because I've heard good things about the gameplay at least. PlayStation boy. As far as Rayman's concerned, anyway. I had uh, PlayStation and Nintendo consoles growing up. Remember the lightning? He's gonna do his, his, his ball thing. His double DNA spiral attack. Majin Buu, Reign of Fire. Perfect health. Doing good. This is a good run. How am I going to ruin it? Give me your balls. Ah, it's the lightning! It's just, it's just memorization. I, I'm a goldfish. This boss hurts me because I'm a goldfish. What 
look how slow he's moving and I can't even hit him. That's all my health gone. I don't- what? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I, I guess I punched the thing, it looked like something happened. I did so well, and then I just lost all of my health to phase three. Doesn't lightning this time. Just gonna do this a few times. Man! Then he does lightning, and then the rain of fire. Man, I forgot that he did the thing. I was paying attention to the rain! night, isn't it? It's just gonna be this one boss. I asked for a Mr. Dark, a Mr. Dark boss fight, and boy did I get it. I got exactly what I asked for. You, you talk to Batilla, don't you? I should have visited her. I, I probably have more health unlocks I haven't been getting. But if I leave the level now, then I have to do the whole boss gauntlet over again, I'm, I'm betting. Man, why couldn't Mr. Dark have just had his own boss level? I completely forgot about Batilla and her health upgrades after I got the first one. Man, I've been going through this game on a handicap.
out the lightning once again, rain of fire, and then he's gonna come at me in ball form. And I still got hit, even knowing it was coming. Oh, no, no controller, not now, please. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Controller, please. Why do you do these things? It's just Joy to Key has been doing this. It does not like that I use an Xbox One controller, which has not been successfully natively supported. Are we good? Are you done? Okay, controller's good. Let's see how much health I've built up. extra two health. That'll be very helpful. Can I get three? All of the cages. Okay. Well, that's not happening. Two more health. Maybe, maybe that's plenty. Maybe I can now breeze through the, blo the boss gauntlet and get straight to Mr. Dark quickly. There wasn't a whole level before, was there? It was just the boss, right? There was a level before. How much level was there? Yeah! <laughs> Maybe I can speed run it. Maybe I can get through it in like a, two minutes. <laughs> The whole Dark Rayman section? Oh, there was the whole castle and everything. Man. That really hurt forgetting about those health upgrades. Whoops! <laughs> yes, yes, you're very scary. Very scary. an interesting extra feature if this game had uh, had a speed runs kind of mode I don't think it does does it there's not a time trial thing 
like uh, Crash Bandicoot with the relics. You can enable a timer. Does, do you get anything for it? I, I, I don't like this, for the record, that the final boss is not on its own, like, token. Why does it have to have a whole level before it? The dev is uh, fairly amicable, at the very least. I remember trying to uh, troubleshoot my controller issues with him, and he was at least responding on Twitter, even though they were ultimately not resolved, sadly. Seemed like a nice guy. these are supposed to be? Weird, lumpy fruitcake? I go get the health health increase, and then I immediately have to do a section where the threat is a one-hit kill, and my health doesn't matter. trouble with this section at all the first time. I forget how much of it was in the original Rayman and how much of it is new to this game. I think the rising platform section that I keep dying on is new to this game. checked the shop for other upgrades. But I don't think there were any that would be useful anyway. Just like the, the Ting Magnet. There we go. section. In which Rayman learns the technique of the key eye to defeat his nemesis Dark Rayman.
There we go. That was the easier of the two Dark Rayman sections. Hurry, platforms? Okay, I'm good. Alright, this is the precision part of the reverse control section. And I'm still holding the run button because I'm a masochist. There we go. First checkpoint is that far into the level. Rayman Runner. Yeah, it's all gold after the after Dark Rayman. Get some peas. Save more of those guys. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna i I'm not gonna get every other cage in the game. Add another ten hours to the stream for one more health. I'm good. Cortex Castle vibes from this music. Maybe this will be the easier Dark Rayman section this time. I can take those guys, I can take a hit. I can't take no Dark Rayman touch. He has the bad touch. Coming back down. Uh oh. Hmm. Psst. Okay. Maybe this will be the easy one this time. Want the good touch, but you need the bad touch. Yeah. 
Man, how come his punches can't beat the enemies for me? You know, we get a second punch on a, on, on a little delay. That'd be nice. These, these items all have proper names. You could probably look them up in the, in the Rayman 1 manual. I think I still got that. The thing didn't appear, did it? I don't think I went far enough. Sandy, I didn't win. I went out to get more health because I forgot that I could do that. And, uh, in doing so, I forgot that there was an entire level I had played before, uh, Mr. Dark. I thought I just had to do the boss gauntlet again. Bowser Castle. I gotta do his whole stupid boss gauntlet. Watch the health not matter at all, and I'll have exactly as much trouble with the boss gauntlet as I did the first time. Won't that be fun? Music track, I believe. That is fitting. This is what I would expect a uh, Mr. Dark Castle to sound like. You're too late. No, I'm, I'm right here on time. Just like last time. And I'm gonna beat up your guys, and then I'm gonna beat up you. Come on, throw your claw. There's the little gremlin man. Hit, don't like that. That's okay, I got more hits this time. I got a lot more because I got peas. If I'm lucky, I can save some of those for Mr. Dark. Then it's. Oh, these guys. Then it's Mosquito, Scorpion. Eh, eh, dumb dog. Eh, 
and Sackstone Man. I'm getting like uh, fuzzy eyed. That's how I know I've been going too long. Games like this are not meant to be played at length. Mama Man. Hey, even save two peas for Mr. Dark. Yes, yes, you're very evil and scary and dark. And you have a, uh, have a black flying nimbus. I got your number this time, Shadow Man. It is such a good looking sprite. And I forgot about the lightning. Every time I forget about the lightning. extra peas. I am devoid of pea. This, this boss, this music is going to be ingrained in my memory. The amount that was changed in terms of the world building, the setting, the amount of overhauling between Rayman 1 and the later games is part of why I'm a little bit hesitant to want him in Smash, even though I'd, I'd wanted him for the longest time because I grew up with Rayman 1. But now he just, he, he would probably draw almost nothing from Rayman 1. So you know, he just, he wouldn't be the Rayman that I would want. Well, I'm going into this with two hits, so that's... Never mind. Why did I open my big mouth? Why did I say a word? Okay, so I see my opening. Possibly fragile relic of ultimate power. Just punch it. Rayman knows what he's doing. Mr. Dark played a uh, Rock of Ages. He knows the most effective strategy is to hit things with giant spheres. sometimes a flurry of smaller spheres. Do you like Chuck E. Cheese's pizza? Does anyone go to Chuck E. Cheese's for the pizza? I don't remember Chuck E. Cheese's pizza. 
It's it's not what I'm thinking about when I when, uh, the few times that I went to Chuck E. Cheese's. Got the lightning once again. <sighs> that that ball after the narrow flame section is always scary. And I've got one hit. They shut down, didn't they? Chuck E. Cheese? Also, wasn't there rumors of them wanting to do a, uh, they were gonna do, like, a horror Chuck E. Cheese's movie or something? No, I'm thinking of, uh, the Banana Splits. How'd that go? Didn't they do that? They did a Banana Splits horror movie because that was the in thing to do now that once Freddy got popular. Did you think about the animatronics? No, I went for the arcade games and the tickets and the prizes. That was the fun part of it for me. As a child. Now, the prizes were worthless. You never get anything good unless you went there, like, every week and really ground the tickets over long periods of time. You just get, like, penny candy for a single session at Chuck E. Cheese. I feel old just calling it penny candy. Remember when they were talking about discontinuing the penny because it did nothing used it? bizarre discussion that was. That was like 10, 10 or 15 years ago now. They had Super Monkey Ball, the Monkey for one. They didn't have it whenever I went there. I would always grind the, uh, the ring no, I would use the I use the machine where you drop a drop a token in, and the physical token would roll down a slot. I liked that one because it was a game of skill, and I felt like I could get I could get good and consistent with it. Darian. I'm playing Pachinko. You see that? Big Owls used to have Flappy Bird. Isn't that a mobile game? I guess that's not surprising, is it? Is it? What was the story with Flappy Bird? The dude removed it from the mobile app because he was mad at copycats? Was that what happened? I remember there was something that happened with the dev of Flappy Bird, and he removed it from whatever it was on for a time. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Oh, I got, I got him! No! It cannot end like this! I need but You're not getting any more time. This is the last game you're ever gonna be seen in. I'm sorry, Mr. Dark. That was a cool... I didn't comment on it. That was a cool effect how the windows get blown out and everything.
Oh, is that it? Is that our non-100% ending? And now I need to get all of the Lectunes and all the cages and fly up to the Space Colony Ark so I can get the true 100% ending. I'm, I'm gonna guess that's the case. That might be GG. Because I, I don't plan to 100% this on stream, I'm sorry to say. There's just too much. Oh, here we go. Final showdown, the Lonely Cliff. Let's go shopping. Let's see what the shop has before we go there. Lives? Power-ups? Skins? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough tings! Start the level. Start with a golden fist. That sounds nice for this single occasion. Extra HP from big power-ups. Oh, I already got that one. And then it's just skins. Stone Man. Spider. Alright, well, I'll, I'll get my fist. I'll get locked and loaded. Actually, you know what? I can get both of these. There we go. For the final fight. I will load up on fist and life. And I'm gonna cheese the shit out of Mr. Dark. Mmm, sorry, Rayman. I can't give credit. Oh, there, there, there's a level first. Wait, hold on. I, I bought the pee. Where's my pee? I bought my pee and my fist, and my pee and my fist are gone. I got normal health and I got normal fist. Morshu just took my tings. Is there like a shop guild I can call? I was promised pee and I didn't get my pee. Hey, it's me. I bet you didn't recognize me without my body. But just so happens Mr. Dark didn't actually blow me up for good. He just took away all my powers. That means I can't fight you anymore. It's like Paper Mario where Grotus ended the game as just a head. Be honest, I was getting a bit bored of that. You go take down Mr. Dark. He was always such a big meanie, even towards me. I'm just gonna hit the beach and relax. Maybe even have a nice, cool drink. Of a nice, cool woman. With nice, big bags of ice. For my head. Oh, it's the, it's the, wait, the monk? Dude, you were, you were giant when I saw you. I, I was walking on your, like, hand balls. Why is the monk suddenly tiny? Rayman, it's terrible. After your battle with Mr. Dark, we saw him fly through the sky with the Great Protoon. The whole world is ripping from its seams. Mr. Dark is going to do something awful if you don't stop him. You have to take him down once and for all. We're all counting on you. Bzzit here will take you to him. Just remember that there's no coming back once you go. Okay, but do you got my pee? I paid for a pee. I, I have to fight Dark Rayman. And this time he doesn't reflect my every move. We full to who now. I, I, for the, I do know it's pronounced Toho, for the record. I don't know what I thought would happen. I know, I can go between Mr. Dark, so I'll be able to go through these ones. Squidward sprinting intensifies. It's like the... It's like the nightmare battle from Kirby's Adventure. Oh, he even went towards the screen.
You know, he would be much harder if he did the same thing I did. I'm glad his bug is less talented with spitting. Be a very a much harder but also more dark Rayman battle if he spit every time I spit. I can't come any further. It's too difficult to fly through the dark tendrils. You'll have to go over uh, tendrils. We're now fighting a giant eldritch creature. Oh, there's there's my pee. Yeah, give me that. There we go. I got my pee. Now I just need my full fist that I paid money for. Ooh, there's a giant one. Hey. Ow! Oh, he doesn't even damage me, he just punches me. Can I not get past him? Oh, oh there we go. That's a nice noise. There's a lot of, lot, of, lot of squishy, fleshy noises at the end of this game. Oh, am I supposed to... I get it. I can get punched into the, 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 the ring height. Hey, come on. Hit me. You coward. Eh, you idiot. It's an uh, interesting end game mechanic. I th there was fists down there. Ah! This, I don't know. I don't know. Understand how to do this without taking damage on the spikes. Uh oh. Hmm. always got to be a final level before the bosses. Can't can I just have the final boss? Also, I'm going to be very upset if I get there and it does tell me that I need all the cages to fight the guy. like Chuckyas, but way more violent. I like that pee. How can I get to it? Uh, with more effort than it's probably worth. I am not going to get that particular pee. Uh-oh. There we go. Hmm. 
Man, no, please. Please, please, no. I have a wife and kids. I'll get up. Oh, I gotta get punched up there. I gotta get punched everywhere. Do I have to go? I have to go up there. This is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be very tricky. What a precise punch this requires. I'm missing something? Feel as though I'm missing something. up. Oh, there's a thing over there. Okay, I see. I, I missed the sparkly. What did that summon? There we go. Oh, no, please. Totally unique new tile set. There we go. There's the stuff. Why'd he put it up here? Why didn't he just give it to me when I bought it at the shop? Yeah! Stupid Marshoot knockoff. Is this ice? Yes, it's ice. Always gotta be ice. This game loves ice. In the context of this kind of use, of like sliding around and doing physics stuff. Not so much the precision platforming. I, I, don't give me ice for that, please. They're still giving you tings in this level, as if they still matter. No, please. No, please. I'm just trying to get to math class. There we go. I, I had to hit him back. That was the solution. Go away. Ah! Oh, there's more of them. I went back because I thought maybe other stuff spawned. I don't think it did. Yeah. 
uh, a little tricky, this last section. Maybe this music isn't original to the creator. Maybe, maybe this is part of the... Maybe this is part of the Rayman educational game. Maybe this is the final boss. I wouldn't know. I've never played it. You gotta work your way up through all the letters of the alphabet. And that's Z. That final boss, Z, he's a real piece of work. I just go up yeah that'll that'll do why do I keep going left just take all the damage yeah eat it Rayman you want to touch the blue things blue things are good can't tell. I don't... I think they're in sync. I don't think the blue thing is getting any more out of the way. I think it's just like that. Again, I've, I said this before, it's amazing how all the way to the end of the game, these little tiny one-hit mook guys are still A, threats, B, significant threats. Any one of these guys could knock me into a pit and just kill me instantly. Actually managed to get up here with a little bit more health this time. I still have no idea what to do about it. this guy. I just can't get get that jump. Like there's no way. Do I have to go around the left side, I guess. Says, what is this jump? There we go. A at least he gave me a little pee up there, but jeez. And spike ball. Precision spike balling. I'm not that precise. I jump in the middle of the spike ball. Another checkpoint would be nice. That'd be lovely. I would really appreciate one right now. I lost my fist and my pee. I had them both maxed briefly. Can't even, he can't even hang on to the, the slippery platforms effectively. Unless he's going to take damage from it, then he hangs on to them great. Okay, well now I know what to do. I do it in one try. 
slow and steady. This, this level's got to be a, a pain and a half to speedrun. I bet it looks amazing in a, in a like a task bot though. Why would you ever take the punch, guys? I'm just, I'm just gonna not. I'm gonna crawl right past him. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Going over. Oh, we're over three and a half hours. Man, I thought Mr. Dark was the end of it. I still think we can finish this, though. I'm committed to finishing this. Yes, full health. Thank you. What's that? Oh, it's a magician's token. Oh, well. Oh, well, magician. I didn't play any of your new levels anyway. amount of space I have to move on with which to dodge these spike balls. Okay. What's next? What is the next layer of hell this level has for me? Just climbing up still? Just climbing up still. Cool. It's there's like an instant fill up power up. I have fused with the great protoon. Its powers are all mine. He's got like uh, he's got he got like uh, like an earthbound e final boss voice. Very Kirby's Adventure Nightmare vibes. Just eat every one of these. Eh, you can't get me because I'm crouching. <laughs> Am I supposed to do something? Oh. And he still has that. Of course, he still has the lightning attack. Why did I think he wouldn't have a lightning attack anymore? Okay, so it's just Mr. Dark, but more. Mr. Darker. Uh, this seems to be the final, final boss. Boy, I'm hoping it is. It's, it's extra long lightning, too. He's only got six hits. Stamina is not this boss's strong suit. He can summon the Goombas? Just list slightly to the left. There you go. Same strategy as the original fight, just camp the ledge. That's what works. Mr. Dark can't get you at the very edge of the screen. You're nice and safe there. 
And I got the health to compete with his, too. He just doesn't like the ledge. Of course, that also makes it hard to approach him. Hmm. Well. Ah, oh, I just missed it. What? Huh? M missiles? What? What is that? It's just a rave of wed. Of red. Wed. It's a wave of wed. We don't know where they came from. Okay, he discovered how to hit the ledge. Sir. No, 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 no. Which is lightning. Oh, I, I still would not be surprised if there were a final, final boss that I can only get by saving all the things. I hope it at least gives me an ending for this version, though. I hope it doesn't lock the ending of the story behind 100%. That's all I'm asking. standing on. There's a giant moon. Is it the Rayman equiv equivalent of the Termina moon? Maybe it has that giant goofy face from the Mr. Stone fight. What's next? More space rain. And lasers. It's impressive that they're attempting a more difficult fight after the previous Mr. Dark fight, which was already extremely difficult. Honestly, I don't think this is that hard yet. Although it might just be my experience from the previous fight carrying over. the red things, and then lightning. The red waves of ammunition. Just lightning. Just eat it. If I attempted this entire game in one stream, it would have taken me longer than the Crash 2 All Platinums run. I mean, I could, I could say that for a lot of games, but I wasn't expecting this game to be one of them. I was expecting this to be much shorter. 
Or at least, like, comparable in length to the original Rayman one. Oh, this, uh, this game kicked my ass a little bit. I probably shouldn't be speaking in the past tense. It's a little arrogant of me. I haven't won yet. And I'm gonna die to red. No. It's like, this is like an Undertale fight. Mr. Darker versus Sans Undertale. Death battle, get on it. I, I don't care what his actual, this form's actual name is. I'm calling him Mr. Darker. Lightning once again. They really make sure that uh, you want that extra health with these bosses, though. Like, one extra health can make a lot of difference fighting these guys. At least he's not reading my inputs or anything nonsense like that. Thunder, and then the balls, and then the thunder. No, the thunder, the balls, and then the laser. It's just memorizing every single order of attacks. It's the same one every time, but it doesn't make it any easier. I guess it does make it easier, but it's still very, very hard. I may not be pro enough gamer for this. But I'm gonna try anyway. and then the laser. I got two hits left. Like that's gonna happen on this time, but I'm sure gonna try. Uh-oh! Curtains, Goombas, Curtains. I mean, they're not really Goombas. You can't jump on them, so they're not as easy enemies, but... Eat the lightning. Just eat everything. Who needs to defend? Guarding is for babies. Real men take it. I need to have a thousand health, so I can take every attack like a man and still beat Mr. Darker. I remember Smash Melee when I was like a, a, a teenager and I thought, oh, Garden shielding is for babies. That's for cowards. Real men don't shield. That habit died quickly as the years went on.
All right, three to three. And he does the, no, he does the curtains. And then the lightning. And then the balls, and then the lightning again. There's his balls, and then the lasers. No, it's balls, and then lasers. I'm getting it. Very slowly, I'm getting it. All right, three to two. And now he does the curtains, and then the little guys, and then the curtains. Curtains. I don't know what else to call that. It reminds me of the, the Courage the Cowardly Dog episode with the wave of sadness, the curtain. Right, lasers, I can take lasers. Lasers are easy. Yes, three to one. What do you got for me? How's that all? More lasers? Let's keep doing lasers. I love lasers. We're in blind territory on the final hit. I caught the lightning. He does two lightnings! Three lightnings! He knows my weakness. He's homed in on it. He's just gonna spam lightning until I die. Every time, it's always the lightning. It's not because the ground doesn't like sparkle before it happens or anything. You just gotta you just gotta watch his movements and time it exactly. Alright, three to two, and then he does the waves. That's kind of a lazy graphic. That doesn't quite hold up to the the rest of the game visually. The red wave of ammunition. Oh, I can preempt him. He can't even get a single shot out. That's good to know. I'd like to do that more. Uh, yeah, just like that. Oh, there's that frame-perfect input. Oh, it is not actually frame-perfect, I realize this. Alright, four to three. It's gonna do waves, and then lightning, and then balls, and then lasers. just Dark Souls. Well, it's more specific Dark Souls because it is exactly the same pattern of attacks every single time. Dark Souls bosses aren't that predictable, are they? I never actually played. Don't tell anyone. Yeah. You want me to do this boss without any, any damage? No thanks. I'm good. I don't feel the need to do that. Why have you never seen someone do it damageless? Forgot the lightning again. I don't have the memory capacity to do it damageless. It would take, I'd be here all night. Three. Could be worse. I'm 
looking at it like stocks in Smash Brothers. Speaking of, this sequence would make for a cool, uh, for a cool, uh, boss fight in Smash Brothers. You know, like they did with Marks and Dracula. I would bet that the creator of this is at least something of a Kirby fan, because again, this is very, this feels very similar to A, Marks as a boss fight, and B, Nightmare from uh, Kirby's Adventure, slash Return to Dreamland. I still, the most trouble I have is with that wave attack. If I can preempt it so we can't get it out, that is golden. Thunder, then balls, then lasers. Okay, there we go, two to two. It's gonna do the waves. Then the little guys, and then the waves again. I got hit by the little guys. I'm a little ashamed of that. Alright, one to one. Final hit decides it. lasers, and then he's gonna do the thunder! Now he's gonna do the waves again. Ooh. I'm good. I'm fine. We're fine. Oh. And we know it's at least four thunders. get hit by that one. Every time. You know, just take me. Come on. Let's start this one fresh. The lasers are so easy to deal with compared to everything else. It takes the full extent of the helicopter to avoid damage from the thunder. It's less forgiving than the thunder in the previous fight. Alright, one to, uh, five to three. Let's do it. This is the one. This is the go. Balls. And lasers. Ah, oh, I still got that one. Kill your little dudes. Nice and easy. Alright, people find, it, find this boss hard. If I beat it on my first try. Final hit. Oh. Oh no, I get hit by two lasers. That's embarrassing. Is 
waves, and then he's gonna do his four thunders. Got him! Now I, Rayman, will be all powerful. Long as there's darkness in the world, blah, blah, blah. I'll be back! Wait for Mr. Dark in Rayman 2! Poor Mr. Dark. Much Kirby. Oh, oh, there's still, I'm still playing. And I, I truly am all-powerful. I have become the Great Protoon. It's like credits music. I get to beat all the Goombas. Screw these guys! Oh no, there's still- the darkness is encroaching. I still have- I'm not immortal. I still have a threat. Where's the Keyblade so that we can seal the darkness? I assume that was a threat to me. It was a clean four hours. It's a cool MS Paint circle. Okay, see, that ending is a little more fitting after such climactic events as that. Not, you beat up a couple of monsters and Mr. Dark ran off into the night. I poke fun. There he is, Rai Manny. I poke fun with, like, the MS Paint Circle thing, but... Considering this is a one-man project, even if this wasn't a one-man project, there you got some people who helped him out. This guy did a great job. This is one of the best-looking, most in-tune with the original game, fan games, remakes, remasters that I've ever seen. It had some frustrating parts in the original world. The, the, the Playland, or whatever it was called. And I don't think the Magician needed his dialogue re-recorded. That came out a little bit worse, but... Overall, excellent fan game. I would, uh... I have a hard time recommending Rayman 1 at times to people just because while I love the game, it is extremely unforgiving. Especially for a, a new player, and especially, especially for people who don't play a lot of platformers. It is one of the most difficult 2D platformers of the era, which is saying something because 2D platformers could be very hard back in the day. Rayman 1 could get beyond NES hard, and NES hard was hard. Oh, you, mi you missed the part you were waiting for, Fizzle. Oh, that's right, one of the, uh... I think that's one of the compo original composers... ...died between, uh, the original game and this coming out. You've saved the world! New items unlocked in the shop. Oh, thanks, Morshu, being a bro. Wait, is, what's it? The end of the world. Okay. Uh, they moved the Mr. Dark icon up there, too. So I guess that was, a t that was telling that it wasn't the true ending up on uh, Candy Mountain. Because it didn't have Mr. Dark up there anymore. Sorry, I didn't mean to come here, Batilla. 
I just want to visit Morshu one last time. It's not Morshu, it's the cameraman. It's, uh, Borshu. Might as well. Spider Rayman. Dark... Oh! You can become Dark, Ma Dark Rayman, Frankenstein's Monster, and Jacko Ray. Oh, well, I, I didn't realize I was so low on coins. I wanted to buy the three of those. Let's see what Dark Rayman looks like in a level. And then I will stop. Let's see if the menu wants to cooperate. I have a hard time recommending Rayman 1 because of its incredible difficulty. I would recommend this to people who are interested in Rayman 1, but maybe aren't super ultra pro platforming experts that are, are looking for the difficulty. This got very, very difficult by the end of it. Even more so than the ending of Rayman 1 original. But on average, I would say this game is definitely easier, has good quality of life improvements, and is much more newcomer friendly. Oh, there he is. He can play as Dark Rayman. He's got his no eyes, he's got his angry look, and he plays basketball with himself. That's neat. That's a cool thing to include as a skin. Oh, don't mind me. All right. Four hours and five minutes. That is one of the longer streams I've had in recent memory. What took us quite a while, but we got through it. I spent a lot of time on Rayman Redemption. I did enjoy it. It was a good game. Got raided twice. That was fun. Uh, I don't know how solo streaming will go in the future. I'll probably do more Smash. I might do that Tomodachi idea I mentioned. We'll see. But for now, I'm done. Thank you for watching. Check out our YouTube for archives. This video will be going up there tomorrow, and I'll see you later.